Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the U.S. and Canada. There are nearly one and a half million new cases of cancer diagnosed each year and nearly 550,000 deaths from cancer each year in the U.S. alone. There is nothing that concerns my patients more than the possibility that they may be developing cancer. Since President Nixon declared war on cancer, the healthcare community has spent billions of dollars each and every year in research only to see cancer rates and deaths increase year after year. Now researchers agree that cancers develop in adults over decades. You don't just wake up one day and have cancer. It is the result of small changes that occur over years and years. Why does this happen? After a major review of the medical literature, Dr. Peter Kavorsik states, of the numerous theories that have been advanced, oxidative stress is the most comprehensive and it has stood the test of time. It can rationalize and correlate most aspects associated with the development of cancer. Researchers have shown that when the DNA nucleus of the cell is exposed to these excessive free radicals, mutation or damage to the DNA can occur. When the cell replicates, this mutation is carried to each newly developed cell. More oxidative damage can occur and this vicious cycle can continue until a true cancer eventually develops. Physicians almost always diagnose cancer in their very last stages. By the time a cancer causes symptoms or shows up on an x-ray or a CT scan or MRI, it has been developing for 10 to 20 years. Doctors will then get out their big guns of aggressive surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy in the hopes of extending your life or curing your cancer. Most of the successes in battling cancer over the past several decades is the result of earlier detection of those cancers. This is why most physicians encourage their patients to get a mammogram, have a PSA blood test, or colonoscopy. These tests have been designed to try to diagnose cancers earlier and earlier and have them removed before they can spread. Once cancers have spread or advanced enough to cause symptoms, it is generally too late. There has been some improved success with what we call blood-borne cancers like lymphoma and leukemia as well as tumors like testicular cancer. However, in general, cancer deaths continue to rise. Since physicians tend to diagnose cancer in their late stages, and generally too late, there is more focus on what is referred to as chemo prevention. Medical studies are now showing us that we are continually fighting off and trying to destroy early cancers before they can become a problem. Now this depends on a natural antioxidant defense system, immune system, and repair system that is functioning at its optimal level. The absolute best and safest way to accomplish this goal is by consuming high quality, complete and balanced nutritional supplements. This allows you to prevent that oxidative stress in the first place and protect this initial damage to the DNA nucleus of the cell. One of the major principles I teach in my approach to nutritional medicine is the fact that it's all about balance. You want to have more antioxidants and their supporting nutrients available than the number of free radicals you're producing. This allows you to prevent the oxidative stress that these free radicals can cause to your body. However, even if it's damaged, nutritional supplements have been shown to actually help in the repair of this damage. Studies that have looked at precancerous lesions like cervical dysplasia in women or leukoplakia in tobacco chewers have shown that by taking optimal levels of antioxidants that 50 to 70 percent of these precancerous cells are repaired and actually become normal again. Therefore, the absolute best approach to chemo prevention is to eat a healthy diet, establish a modest consistent exercise program, and begin consuming high quality, complete and balanced nutritional supplements that provide all of these essential nutrients at their optimal or advanced levels.